Majin Buu cosplay tutorial. Uh, today we are going to be styling the wig for Mina. Um, this is really the only part that is actually going to be Mina besides from the pink skin. We know that from the waist down it's all going to be Majin Buu and obviously the chest area is going to be all Majin Buu, but the wig is Mina. So what we need to do that to this really is to get it to stand up. Um, the wig that I'm using here, uh, the fibers are kind of cheap and coarse feeling, but that's okay because it being coarse feeling like that means that it's going to hold its shape better. So you can see how it's sticking up without me even putting any product in it. So that's good. What we'll need to do is we'll just need to throw some hairspray into it and form little random triangles all over. I looked at lots of different reference pictures and none of the reference pictures show her having the exact same hairstyle in each frame. It's all kind of just random wherever it's going to be. The only thing that's uniform is her bangs. So we're going to work on the, just the back side first because that'll be the quickest part. Um, what you'll need for this is probably just a comb and some thick hairspray. Um, let's just start with one little section here and we'll take, take it in our hands, comb it together, and form it down to a point. And now this is a little section by itself. Add some more spray paint, or spray paint, hairspray. And that will dry just like that, little piece. Let's make another one right here below it. Now you only have to make these randomly through the hair. It doesn't need to be all over. But it does need to have some definition. Let's make a good one here in the middle. Just so whenever people are looking at me from behind, they can see that I didn't just leave the back of the wig crazy or just like it came right out of the bag, like a shake and go. This is gonna give it just a little bit more of a dimension of, I worked really hard on this cosplay. So I'm just taking it while it's still wet and twisting it, letting it untwist, and pulling it. And it keeps that nice kind of shape outward. Let's put one right here. There we go. Soak it with the hairspray. I can't find my got to be glued anywhere, so I'm using this other stuff. It doesn't work as good as got to be glued, but it'll work just fine for this. Because this stuff, it doesn't need to be like stiff and staying in place. It just needs to have just defined little sections. All right, let's put one down here at the bottom. Let's put one more right here. All right, now let's go through and since these are all still halfway dry, still wet, let's go ahead and push, push them up. All right, now let's do one on top, actually. Let's, let's do one up here on this side. Now this one, I'm gonna tease just a little bit because I do want it to stand up. And I'm just back combing the back side of it. I don't know if you can see that. Just back, back combing the back base of it so you can't see the teasing in the front. You see how that's sticking up by itself now? Let's. Pretty good. Comb it together so it all looks like a uniform section. Twist it and let it be. Okay, now you got a nice little stick. You just gotta work quick before it stays in a shape that you don't want it to be in. Let's do another smaller one on this side. Okay, 
Hey, you know, it looks pretty fluffy in the back. Let's make sure we don't have any track randomly showing. Yeah, it looks like mean in the back. All right, let's turn it around. And here on the top, we can see that we have this nice little fluff here. I want to get one that's maybe going this way, like this. So what we're going to do is since I want this one to stand up just a little bit more, is I'm going to tease it at the base, but behind this right here is the part that's going to be showing. This here in the back, you won't really be able to see that once it's all pushed together. So you tease it in the back so it doesn't look knotted in the front. The front still looks nice and smooth, but it's going to stand straight up because it's teased. Just give it a little bit more so it holds it. Let's spray it down. And don't want it standing straight up. Nina's got crazy hair, but it's not that crazy. That goes over there. Okay. Maybe let's do something right here. Let's do one of the ones without teasing right here. Need to get a table and not hold the hairspray in between my legs. Twist it up. Make it come out. Okay, now let's do the bangs. Um, I believe her bangs go this way, so let's do a little bit of a part, and then another part, because it's like a three section. It's not necessarily like a triangle down the middle like most anime girl haircuts. It's, it's kind of a three section where this one is to the side. So let's start with the middle. Let's spray underneath so we can get all of it nice and Right. Comb this out. Make sure all the hair is coated with the hairspray. Now I'm going to push it together. Fluff it, comb it, give it everything that it needs. Probably should have brought my hair dryer down here. I can see that it's not wanting to stick together anymore, so I'm just going to hit that with some hairspray. Oh, it wants to be difficult. Come on. Stick together to make you like each other. Okay. Comb that out because it's not wanting to stick. And try again. Why you gotta work fast? I miss my got to be glued. There it goes. Now it's wanting to stick. Just a little bit. Now I've got this section right here. And we're just gonna do what we've been doing, which is twisting. That'll help keep all the hairs together. I'll glue them together, get them acquainted with one another. nice swoopy bang. Let's do, it's just like a small triangle point coming this way. I don't even think we need to spray underneath for this one. <clears throat> we really just need to give it a good spray so it'll hold its shape. And that one was a lot less difficult than the other one. This is obviously a very easy wig styling tutorial because her hair doesn't have like a shape that it's supposed to be. Right now, just going to make ourselves another little triangle like we did on the other side. And she looks good. Let me take my hands and fluff it. Try not to mess up the bangs too much. Old Mina wig. I think we should add a little bit of a flare right here. Another one of the smaller non teased things. Spray it, comb it, 
tongue twisting. Just to give her a little bit more flair on that side. Can't go. Okay. Now our second to final step is going to be to go through and there's lots of little flyaways that aren't very flattering, so we're going to take some scissors and cut those all off. Okay, got my scissors. Let's cut some of these off. And they're just the little flyaways that aren't really attached to anything. And it's just going to make your wig look a little bit neater, even though she has a messy hairstyle. Like you're not cutting off the tips of your little points that you just made. Like I'm not going to cut off this little piece right here just because it's a little bit off, but I am going to cut off this random one swoop of hair that you probably cannot see because I'm using a white background. Just a little snip, snip, make it look a little neater on the flyaways. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Look at it, look at it from this angle. You just want to clean it up before you hairspray it for the final time. All right. Now what I'm going to do is hairspray the absolute heck out of this thing. Um, I want it to basically be a helmet, but I'm going to hold my can further away so it doesn't beat up on the wig. Just going to spray and turn. Make sure you get the bottom part, top, side. Oh, I'm getting it in my mouth. to get those bangs really well. Okay, so now I am going to show you how to make some little horns for Mina. We are gonna use some soft clay foam. Of course, I will link this in the description so you guys can get the same stuff that I did if you're wanting to recreate this. I'm just gonna warm it up a little bit by messing with it. I may have just a little bit too much for one of them. I'm going to start, I think, with rolling it into a ball to get it all nice and smoothed out. Smoothed it out. Give it a nice smooth. I'm doing this with yellow, even though I plan on painting this. This will just help it paint a little bit better. We'll have to make so many coats. So yeah, that looks like a good size to me. I'm gonna try to replicate that with another one. So I want these to be the same size. Let's see, that's too big. Take that just a little bit, squish it back together, roll it, and smooth it. Smooth it out, uh-oh, ball on the run. Okay, I would say that's about the same size. So the things that she has, it's kind of like an angular candy cane. Candy cane with purpose. So I'm just going to smooth and flat this out by pushing on all four sides, giving me this sort of a rectangle shape. And I'm just going to keep doing that. See how it gets longer and longer the more you push. You just keep pushing, make sure you're doing it evenly, distributing the pressure evenly on each side. That way you don't have one side that's more bulbous than the other or something like that. And you're just gonna keep going, keep stretching, keep it going. <laughs> to do the same thing for the next one. Just get a nice rectangle shape started and then you just start patting. And this one, I don't know if it just got too dry really quickly because this stuff does dry pretty fast, but it is ugly on all sides. So I'm just going to pick the worser of all the evils or the lesser of all the evils, excuse me. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bend at a very precise angle and then we're going to bend again and that's going to be the top. And this one you need to make sure that it's pointed at the end. You need to squish it into a point. 
then go along your ridges. I don't know if you can see how it's kind of going in right there. You're gonna wanna push two fingers, smooth it out, give it an even look. Nice uniform curve. Got a good squish. Perfect, let's try to replicate that on this side. Oh man, that piece just wants to break off. Let's start with another one, hold on. one looks much better much nicer sides for me to work with let's see it looks like that one will be perfect okay so now I'll line it up and retry to do this just give this really a good bend right here squish this out some and then looks like the bend needs to be about right there right there and then now let me squish it for the tip like that's squished out more. Yes, squished is a technical term. All right, now I'm just gonna go smooth out the edges on this guy. flat bottom. Looks like that one is still longer somehow. Looks like maybe this part and this part. They're definitely not the same shape, but that's okay. They're not the exact same that nobody's gonna be coming up to you and making sure that they're the exact same. All right. Now we are gonna let these dry overnight before we can attach the clips. Okay, and now I am back. What we're gonna do is we're going to hook these or hot glue these guys onto some little barrettes and then attach this to the wig. I'm just going to do a little drop, do a little drop, and then, yeah, let's do it to where they're facing into the clips. Mirroring each other. Now these are still kind of just a little bit wet, so it will hold on to the hot glue and keep it in place. Okay, now I would say that's pretty sturdy. Yeah, it looks like the hot glue has dried. Now let's go hook this up to the wig. Okay, and now I am back. What we're going to do is we're going to hook these or hot glue these guys onto some little barrettes and then attach this to the wig. So I'm just going to do a little drop, do a little drop, and then yeah, let's do it to where they're facing into the clips. other. Now these are still kind of just a little bit wet so it will hold on to the hot glue and keep it in place. Okay now I would say that's pretty sturdy. 
yeah it looks like the hot glue has dried now let's go hook this up to the wig okay and i have the clips clipped into the hair as you can see i just pushed this over so you can't see it from far away but you got to make sure to put the bottom part of the clip through the wig net that way it holds on really securely i think these turned out really cute Okay, and we are all done with this cosplay. I'm so happy that it's finally done. Even though we had that mishap with my sewing machine, we finally got it done. Be on the lookout for pictures of me wearing this cosplay and also future videos of where I show you where to start with a cosplay and how to finish it. So if you wanna like, subscribe, comment, maybe even share the video, I would really appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching my video, bye.